September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. That's really loud. Oh my gosh, I'm turning that down. Oh my gosh. I think that's okay. Half volume. Still super loud in my ears. Okay, I've got controller. This is Faith. I was turning the fan off, so it wasn't stupid loud and annoying. Um... Hmm... I guess begin- this is a scary game, by the way, so if you don't want to watch scary game, then, yeah. Anyway. New game. That's so loud! Oh my gosh! Have you forgotten already? This forest is a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Resume, resumo, desero, or abitus. Oh, that's cool. It has a little map. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, yes, A is hold the crucifix. Okay. Um. Nope! I... <laughs> Some of the things you can hear him say is so funny. Seriously? I just took care of you. Gosh, dude. Settle down. Spazzo. Creepy spider thing. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12pm to 4pm. Directions turn right at 3... 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay. Alrighty then. God, could you walk a little. S Settle down, Spazzo. Oh, I can't turn the game volume down too much because then it'll. You won't be able to hear what he's saying. Ah, oh, hello, dear. Boo. I spooked ya. House. Big broken down house. Okay. If I'm correct, I believe I need to go this way twice and then just keep going down till I find it. Wow, when you try and hear what he's saying, what it sounds like he's saying, it's interesting. Okay, now I'll just head straight down. Hey, dear. My controller's th oh my gosh, I thought my, my controller had a mind of its own for a second. Yep, perfect. Oh. The Martin's house lies uh, is about a hundred yards off Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no, oh, no driveway, trees just out... What? Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would uh, rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Emmy remain inside. Claim that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to lay to the lay person. Okay. Okay. What? Ah, I saw that. Gotcha, Buster. Ha ha ha. All right. Now to head this way. Ooh, thingy. Bo! 
Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here, here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their, their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. <laughs> I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I th think we might have a coyote problem because when I it went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just, just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Okay. Flip, flip you. Piss off. You know nothing. Before I go to the house, there's one note I ha want to see. Because I know there's... If we look here, there's this tree in the corner. I want to go get the note from that real quick before I do anything else. How far off the path do I need to be? Just one? Ah! Screw you. Mortis. Mortis. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, ruins. Flip! Father? Public letter by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesday, 8 p.m. The heck? Huddle. Neato. Gotta get all these notes. All the lore. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up the hub's rifle out, out of storage. That was rude. There we go. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree lo looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the, the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy, Amy is. She is totally ab absorbed in the volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the club book club, Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. That's weird, okay. Leave me be, demon! I'm going up now. Ah, dear! My gosh. Ah. Need to be ready. Alrighty then. I don't know if I've gotten all the notes or not out here. I'm sure I have. That can, that has to be all of it. Anyway. I saw that. That's flipping loud. Why is it the music so loud? I'm turning that down again. This is... That's stupid loud. Mr. and Mrs. Martin and greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. How old was... Okay, I'll turn it up a bit. Music stopped. How old is Amy? <laughs> like 16? 7? Sweet. 
Oh, I just get to see the picture. Is that the look? Because that's terrifying. Wow, the dead silence was more creepy than the music. Nate. Is Nate one of the twins? Because... <laughs> that's creepy. Shadow Man. McDonald's? Can I crucify the McDonald's? No. Cru put a crucifix to it? Um... What about over here? I want to explore before I progress. Hmm. Mirror. Back! There's someone behind me! Is that Amy? You there, Amy? Crucifix. Uh, okay. It's terrifying. Upstairsies. Ah, door! Can I open the door? Can I crucify the door? Okay. Wait, bike stand. Oh, okay. Fine. A ducky? Die, ducky! I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let that the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why she just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout at the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank gosh Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, thank heavens. Can I? Okay. Crucify the toilet. <laughs> Note? Bed. Can I sleep at bed? No, okay. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up there. It was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon during our conversation. She uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay, I see that doll. Come here, doll. Let's let's do this. Okay. Bob must be Asian in somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. What the heck? These dang Gen Zers and their phones. <laughs> okay, can I? I don't think I can do it, do with any of these. Uh, okay, I'm leaving. Can I look at the map of Earthy, Earthy Earth? Earth? Oh, no, fine. Um, guess I go to the basement. Why is this such a nightmare, moving around? Man, if something were to jump out of me, I would just poo my pants. That's so quiet, which is like, bah! Okay, this is creepy. Heck. Ooh, fence gate. Dear Amy, thank you. thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what that's the weirdest thing you've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a slot, has a lot of folks who practice Quimbombo. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints that a were Saints they worship is San Lamorte or Saint Death. 
yesterday we talked to a boy about 15 when and we he asked him if he had ever prayed he said no but i have prayed to san la muerte he told us about a time when he stayed over wow i'm bad at this over at his cousin's house and according to him they prayed to uh, some figures of san la muerte and and the figures made things in the house move around he got real quiet and scared looking after that we told him that he could pray to god and that god wouldn't make him feel scared like that we invited him to church but he hasn't come yet i need to wrap this letter up and get back to work see you in four months layton it's layton one of the twins how old are the twins like four-year-olds that's that's terrifying i don't like that no no okay Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. It was I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Arred lying on his back, unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, my gosh! That, oh, no! That's not good. Back, demon! Back! Oh, now I'm upstairs. What the heck? I'm in the bed. Ah! She is here. Yeah, she is here. I hate that. That is annoying and loud. Okay. Nope! Back, demon. Gotcha. Back! That one. You have to pay attention to how they flicker, and then you have to point it at the one. But even then, I'm pretty sure you have enough time to just, like, spam all four of them. That was it? Really? What the heck? Okay. Nope, that one. Just gonna fight you off. Gotcha. You coming? I heard a door open upstairs. Okay. Sweet. Alrighty then. Upstairs. Up the stairsies. Now it's open. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy, Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She bleep my superior beep father beep with beep when i con un beep when i confronted her she beep managed to cut the power to the house and the beep her own parents beep with their own beep i have to go back back to that house the nightmares i'm having are real she is still there waiting for me i can still help her or if i don't come back Know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. Okay. Who the heck is Karen? Also, I, this isn't swear words or anything. It's just actually gone. Like, uh, redacted text. Death! <laughs> the stupid crosses. Oh. 
what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Okay. Oh my gosh, Demon Man. Please don't, please don't, please don't! Got her! Yeah! Oh! Pleasant. Nope. Gotcha! Nope. No you don't. It's always the same one. Why? Aya! Boom! Woo! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, okay, she- follow the star. Okay. And don't touch that. Oh boy. Crap, don't be in the way. Oh my gosh, I hated that. Got her. I'm amazed I haven't died at this once. Just because I've played before doesn't mean I'm any good, any better at it. Oh, ow. I threw it out the window. The window. Second story window. <laughs> Alright. I guess this is the third story window. Never mind. Okay. Downstairs I go. Relic. All right, give me that shotgun. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. So I know there's a secret boss. If you go over here, kabam, and then go back. I will break you, me A gun with one bullet. Okay. Okay. Who the heck are you? Back up, back up. Back the heck up! Okay. No, stay still. Oh dear. Back the heck up! Thingy! Starfish face! Got it, yeah! December 30th, 1986. Dear Dr. McLashen, It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal 
who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have finally come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not a result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. Patrol was working. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my parent, my progress since first coming here, I respect fully request my a I respect fully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute contingent upon follow up appointments with Doctor Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Am I John Ward? I think I'm John Ward. I'm Johnny Boy. Anyway, now to grab the gun again. That was just a lore boss. Now it's time for the endings. <laughs> yeah, the force is all different now. There's a pathway right here. Go down here. Over here. Hello, Amy. Gotcha. Okay. Now to shimmy back to my car. My Tesla. <laughs> Uh oh. Game over. Ending one of five. Murderer. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in, in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra uh, was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her, according to the police report. The officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward, has taken to Sterling Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin and a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the, near the abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window. <laughs> the window. Second-story window of the house. Any officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward has, was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It was suspected that he imperson and impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. And now I can get the other, and then it puts you back here so you can get the other endings. The only thing I don't like about this is, is how long it takes to do these. It's so long. Look how slow he walks. Okay, coming up to it. And here's a guy. What? Who are you? What the flip? Okay, he's back. He's just walking out and back and he's back. But, well, who are you? 
Doesn't matter, you're dead now. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I killed him. Just some guy in the forest. Okay. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh my gosh! Ending two of five, father and son. Am I that thing's dad? The heck? Or did I kill his dad? Esteemed Cardinal Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's afflictions. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Okay. There is a dead squirrel here, which I probably should have crucified at the start, or tried crucifying. Whoops. Okay. I'm pretty sure when you crucify it, it just like red text appears, chaos reigns, or something like that. And that's it. Anyway, I don't know what the point in shooting a dead squirrel was, but... Okay. Bap, 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 bap. Into my Tesla I go. Oh, what the heck? Cult members? What? What's happening here? I've got pitchforks and the road's on fire. What is happening? Game over, ending 3 of 5, The Offering. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your partner's decision. It is hard for people to tr trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from fo following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Love, Gary! <laughs> I did watch Markiplier play the second one. It's funny. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Right? I know the difference between left and right. Hey, Mr. Deer! Kabam! Take that, deer. You didn't do anything wrong, but I kill you anyway. Because you suck. Now to come down here... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why does he have to walk so slowly? Why? I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Ah, dear! What is he in Utah? <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck? The deer cult? No! No! Mr. Deer! <laughs> what the heck? Ending 405, The Hunter. <laughs>
unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a, f a tree, not a free. A spokesman for the police com commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Gosh! Investigators suspect this was probably the work of, a co of coyotes. <laughs> Police also noted that parts of the... Of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of a, of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appeared the victim of of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. What did the other deer eat it, or did am I just a wimp? <laughs> yeah, now I've done crucifying someone. Let me just get some. now I've finished crucifying this girl. Let me just get some food for back, shoot some deer for back home. No! What did you say? Oh gosh. Well, it's dead now. I will send up the war. It is my, my refuge and my fortress. fortress. My cock in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the war my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Nice music. Ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. Please, animal... Is the music gonna calm down? I'm gonna wait a second, because I want the music to calm down a bit. Calm down! Okay, good. Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is in listing the help of local animal experts from the university. I'm turning this down. Quiet down. Sterling PD has enlisted the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling the ch a chupacabra uh, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains, of the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If if it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the uh, investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they com commented that commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the ricket. It's a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay, well, I'm going to pause that because that's it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um...
Pretty sure I got everything. Except for the Chaos Reigns bit. Pretty sure I got all the notes, hopefully. That was fun. I was thinking of just waiting till they they release Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 isn't out yet. The demo is free on Steam, but you can't. It's not out yet. When it is out, they'll probably have the whole Trinity e trilogy out to buy on Steam, which I'm excited for because I want to play the other two. I was thinking of just waiting for it to come out, then playing this, but it could be, like, next year for all I know, and I have nothing else to play. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? I had something else to say. I don't know. Maybe they'll, like, remaster it when it comes out or something. The first chapter, they'll have achievements that I'll get, probably. That'll be cool. Anyway, maybe they'll add new stuff the first chapter. They probably... I Hopefully not, though, because... I don't want to have to play this, make another video on the exact same thing for like a little difference. But anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.